This is a bummer. Spring break might be smelly for some in Florida's Florida this week with a record amount of seaweed washing ashore. The seaweed actually smells like rotten eggs and can even cause breathing issues in people with lung and allergy sensitivities. No fun. Meteorologist Elisa Rafa is here to explain how this will obviously impact spring breakers. That stuff smells. I so have bad. seen it and been with it on the beaches. Nope. It smells and this year it hit in in record levels very early uh, in the season. So typically these uh, seaweeds peak in July. Well, NASA scientists, they're able to monitor the seaweed and March had 13 million tons of this stuff, March. So it's way before the peak. So you're looking at the picture of that satellite images where the scientists are able to track that seaweed. And this is what it looked like in March. Again, 13 million tons and it's called sargasm is what the name of the seaweed is called. And it, it creates this kind of ribbon from the west coast of Africa over to the Gulf of Mexico. Again, usually peaks in July, but it hit much sooner this year. Now this is a look at how it's changed over the last about 10 years since 2011 and you can notice that it is increasing, right? The first couple of block boxes have some, but it's not as much. And then as you get to the bottom, they're really finding it increasing. And the scientists think uh, that it's growing, possibly because of increasing nutrients from fertilizers. We're just putting too much stuff in our water and changing ocean circulations as well. So it's definitely becoming a bigger and bigger problem. Well, yeah. So how is it actually impacting the ecosystem in the water? So you have these like massive piles of tons of seaweed, yeah. right? And um, typically some seaweed is okay. It provides a habitat for things like turtles, fish and birds, but too much of it can make it hard for them to move and it could also make it hard for them to breathe. Corals and seagrasses can be suffocated. Oh wow, and that's so important to, to preserve those. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously it's impacting vacationers right now, but what about moving forward? With it not really peaking until July, scientists are a little bit worried. Well, okay, if it was this bad in March, how bad is it gonna be going into July? And I actually, just about a year or two ago, I um, ha was in um, Mexico, Playa del Carmen, and they need to shovel this out wow. with plows like snow. If you've ever lived a little bit farther north, maybe not so much Charlotte, but a little bit farther north, and you see those piles of snow in the parking lot? Yeah. That's what it looked like, piles of seaweed. So a lot of these tourist hotspots need to pay. This is some of my video from Mexico. They're paying millions of dollars to shovel the seaweed off the beach because they rely on that tourism. So again, with it peaking already in March, they are a little bit worried about July. Oh.